Okay guys, it is early on December 8th and I am taking notes because we have things to do today. Um, the most important being Barcelona versus Juventus. Hi guys, I'm Jenny Chu. Follow along with me as I travel around Europe covering Champions League for CBS Sports. This is Jenny in Europe. After London, I headed back to Spain where I was covering the Barcelona against Juventus matchup, which is Lionel Messi against Cristiano Ronaldo. Fanny and I are prepping in the lobby for the game. So we've last few hours been going through everything that we need to know going into the match. I just got to the stadium, Camp Nou. Um, just got my credential and making the long walk. <laughs> it's not that long to the stadium right there. Two of the biggest teams in the continent. It's the two kind of greatest players of their generation and you get to witness this this evening. It's unreal. And I'm so glad to be doing it next to you, by the way. Um, but yeah, both teams already into the knockout rounds. They're looking to clinch group. Like, I still have this overwhelming, I can't believe this is my life, when I step into every single one of the stadiums. Um, obviously, like, I'm still very new to it, but I know that I will never lose that respect of the game, that passion for the game, um, that love of the game where I feel like it's such a privilege. I am so grateful to be in the position that I am in, to get to watch the beautiful game, the best players in the world, um, compete for the biggest trophy in the world. All right, Kate, I've said that Ronaldo's going to score. Guillaume has said that both will score. What are you guys thinking? You know, I feel like that's really what's gotten me to where I am, just like the extreme to which I feel passionate about the game, um, the love that I have. I feel like the adrenaline that comes with being um, at a football match is very similar to playing in one. Um, and I I will promise to never lose that feeling of like, I am so privileged, I am so grateful to be in the position I'm in because I respect this game so much that I understand the honor it is to be here. We just saw that live. And to get to cover the beautiful game. So just know that every single game I walk into, I will always feel overwhelmed with joy and love of the fact that I get to cover the game that I am so incredibly passionate about. So I will never lose that. And I think that that's why I always feel like overwhelmed by emotion of like, I can't believe I'm here. This is crazy. And that's why I get so nervous because I care so much. I respect the game so much and the craft so much. And you know, the company that I work for so much that I want to do perfect um, and do right by the opportunity. All right, we're done here, guys. It's currently 12.05, past midnight. Oscar never lets me help him with the equipment. Nunca, nunca me dejas ayudarte. Nunca. Uh, true gentleman, I guess. Dropping off the last few things at UEFA, and we have a bus to catch, not a bus, a train to catch to Madrid in a few hours. Okay, I just got to my hotel in Madrid, and it's awesome. It's the bathroom, my bed. Wonder if I have a cool view. I haven't looked yet. I'm in the car, heading to the Real Madrid match. This is a do or die for them. If they win, they're through. If they lose, they either go to Europa or they are out. Um, so, huge deal. And more than anything, just like not necessarily about the game, my emotions have been through the roof today. I think just knowing that this is like the last one in a while, the last guaranteed one, um, is a little surreal that, you know, it's been two months. Um, and it's just been such an experience. It's been such an experience. Let's go do the damn thing on the last one, huh? Wow, look at that sunset. But Guillaume and I just arrived. Uh, we're what, two and a half hours? Key night. <laughs> from go time. Fanny has us all set up already. Guillaume and I just arrived. Look, microphones are set. Oscar, andale, Oscar, ¿dónde está? Oscar, te fuiste. Oscar has everything set for us. Let's take you right out to Madrid, uh, where we do have uh, Guillaume Balaguer, Jenny Chu standing by. Uh, Jenny, it's a lovely Madrid evening. You enjoying yourself? I'm always enjoying myself when I'm with Guillaume. There you are. Thank you. Yes, we're very entertaining. <laughs> We've been dancing out here, having some fun. No need to pretend. No. 
We're not feeling it. Well, we're trying to see what happens with Real Madrid. Are they going to advance in Champions League? Are they going to go to Europa League? Or are they going to go home? And if they don't advance in Champions League, it's the first time in 25 years, which is the history of the tournament. That in itself shows you the enormity of the moment mm -hmm. that we're in right now. And it's a final. They've said it's a final. But Real Madrid performs when their backs are against the wall and they're oh. in a final All right, situation. we are closing here in Madrid. Yeah. We're done with Every, the group done. stage. Everybody's helping carrying <laughs> things. Everybody's helping. Oscar finally let us help with something. No, don't be proud of us carrying a, a, a bag of nothing. Listen, well, this no, is the best family. It belongs to. Did you check things in the room? Best team. We've had so much fun. Barcelona and Madrid. And Oscar is really the, the MVP of this whole team. Yes. From everybody here in the studio, I know that this is going to be the last time that we're going to see you guys uh, before, of course, things carry on in, in February. So happy Christmas to both of you. I hope you have a very special Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you, Kate. Uh, before you go, if you do have a minute, I just wanted to say that this has been an incredible experience and it's been tough at the beginning especially, but Kate Abdo, is the person who reached out to me every moment when I struggled, um, every moment when I felt kind of down on myself, wasn't happy with my performance. She would check in on me every single time, send me messages after every one of my hits that maybe I wasn't feeling so great about myself. And I just really appreciate her on this journey. And I want to say that the, the class that you see on the television is actually who Kate Abdo is. you part of the team both of you that go soon but you especially Jenny we know it's been you know it's been the first time you've been out in America we've thrown you straight into the deep end and we're really proud of, of, of everything you've achieved and we're excited to, to have you on this journey with us thanks so much for watching all of these vlogs um, it's been amazing it's been weird to be vulnerable with this like new group of people I feel like I had my people that watched my vlogs um, this is like a little bit bigger of an audience knowing how my brain works and my inner workings is a little bit weird. So thanks for watching my random adventures. Um, it's just such a privilege to get to experience what I did. Um, I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. So hope you enjoyed. See you guys later.